birthday of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Tomorrow, the U.S. honors his life. Many schools and workplaces will close. But instead of using it as a day off, local museums and attractions hope you will use it as a day of learning and understanding. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Klein. Energy is always high at Light of the World Christian Church on Indy's northwest side. But on this day, the day before the observation of Martin Luther King Day, the service takes on a special note. And we're excited that we are prepared for our annual MLK team tonight. For the third year, Pastor Reverend Dr. David Hampton, who's also the city's deputy mayor, has spearheaded this teen lock-in to not only share the message of Dr. King, but also as a crime prevention tool to protect all teens, including those causing the trouble. And some of those teens do come to our lock-ins. Teens who have been fighting at Castleton or in the streets come here, uh, and we hope that when we have them here, there can be a transformation while they're here. The lock-in will also include presentations from IMPD's new police chief and other city leadership before the kids enjoy a night of food, fun, games, and prizes. When I say peace, you say peace, peace. But some places got a jump start on MLK Day. The Indianapolis Museum of Art held a special event Sunday afternoon. Speaking of love is all about uh, giving artists and uh, creatives in our community the opportunity to, again, express their thoughts and uh, their ideas of uh, Dr. King and uh, what he's to them and um, how those uh, values that he's uh, that he shared uh, continue to live on. And on Monday, venues here at White River State Park, like the NCAA Hall of Champions and the Indiana State Museum, will continue their Martin Luther King Jr. Day tradition of offering free admission for families in exchange for canned food donations. The State Museum is open from 10 to 5 on Monday, and among other things, visitors can meet historic characters and enjoy a bicentennial exhibit. At the NCAA Hall of Champions, the showing of a documentary called Game of Change about a divisive NCAA semifinal game in 1963 where an all-white team played an all-black team. And over at the Children's Museum, a number of activities, including storytelling about courageous children in the civil rights movement. So as you can see, a little something for everyone to honor Dr. King. In Indianapolis, Gary Klein, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. The teen lock-in that Carrie talked about at Light of the World Christian Church is only open to teens in junior high and high school. It's from 7.30 tonight until 8 o'clock Monday morning. Registration is $10, and teens do have to have a parental permission slip. For more information on this and other MLK Day events, just go to our website tonight, WTHR.com.